September 7th. Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? Acts 19.2 What the Church of God needs as a church, we equally need as individual Christians, the deeper baptism of the Holy Spirit. Reader, why is it that you are not more settled in the truth, your feet more firm upon the rock? Why are you not more rejoicing in Christ Jesus, the pardoning blood more sensibly applied to the conscience, the seal of adoption more deeply impressed upon your heart, Abba Father more frequently and with stronger, sweeter accent on your lips? Why are you perhaps so yielding in temptation, so irresolute in purpose, so feeble in action, so vacillating in pursuit, so faint in the day of adversity? Why is the glory of Jesus so dimly seen, his preciousness so little felt, his love so imperfectly experienced? Why is there so little close, secret transaction between God and your soul? So little searching of heart, confession of sin, dealing with the atoning blood. Why does the conscience so much lack tenderness and the heart brokenness? and the spirit contrition? And why has the throne of grace so seldom resorted to, and prayer itself felt to be so much a duty, and so little a privilege? And, when engaged in, so faintly characterized with the humble brokenness of a penitent sinner, the filial bonds of an adopted child, the rich anointing of a royal priest? Ah! Oh. Let the small measure in which you have received the Holy Spirit's influence supply the answer. Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? Have you received him as a witness, as a sealer, as a teacher, as an indweller, as a comforter, as the spirit of adoption? But rather, have you not forgotten that your Lord was alive and upon the throne exalted to give you the Holy Spirit? and that more readily than a father is to give good gifts to his child? Then, as you value the light of God's countenance, as you desire to grow in a knowledge of Christ, as you long to be more steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, oh, seek to enjoy in a larger degree the presence, the love, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, Christ has gone up on high to give you this invaluable blessing and says for your encouragement, Hitherto have you asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you shall receive, that your joy may be full.